Hi guys, welcome back to Saturday. So I had a really busy day today. I went to work at 9, finished work at 1, and then went out to lunch and went to a show, which was supposed to be last night, but because of the snowstorm, it ended up today as a matinee. And then that ended at 5.30 and I got home at 6.30ish and now it's 10 and uh, during that time I kind of just ate and then played The Sims. So now I'm a little bit tired and don't have the time or the motivation to make a Thoughts From Places video because in the first place I didn't really know what I was going to talk about and I'm not good at those meaningful type things. I can't just pull them out of nowhere. I kind of have to, you know, think of what to say first. I, I just never done one and um, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it well. You can count this as a skip if you want um, because I'm not doing the theme of the week, but uh, instead of making a real Thoughts From Places video, I'm going to just talk about something that I enjoy and that would be writing in Gallifreyan. So I'm pretty sure most of you watch Doctor Who, and that's a good thing. Doctor Who fans, let's be cool. I'm a David Tennant fan myself. I believe we actually said this earlier. That's a thing. That was in our introduction video. Bam. I know things. In case you don't know, in Doctor Who, the Doctor, main character, you know, is from a planet called Gallifrey. And on that planet, they obviously have their own writing system, and it's called Gallifreyan. We see it a couple times in the show, um, I believe in some of the earlier episodes, not the new series, like the old ones, there it's shown a few times. And in um, the newest season, or maybe not the newest, but the one before the newest, um, on Matt Smith's uh, Caught Thing, is his name written in Gallifreyan. So those are what most people base Gallifreyan on. Now, there are many, many, many different types of Gallifreyan. So there's one prevailing type of Gallifreyan on the internet, and it's called Circular Gallifreyan, or Sherman's Gallifreyan, and it looks something like this. Now, I don't like this type of Gallifreyan, um, because as you can see, these lines just kind of go everywhere. I'll highlight that. I just like, I don't know, it confuses me, and the way you read it is like counterclockwise around the circle. And I, it just doesn't quite make sense to me, especially since, I don't know if this has changed, but it's more of a code than it is an actual language, um, because it uses our lettering system. It just adds like SH and TH, and I'd just rather it be, even if it does have English as a base, I'd rather it be its own language and like use maybe different symbols for our sounds rather than different symbols for our letters. Not to mention, last time I checked, there wasn't punctuation. I think there is a little bit of it now, um, but it's not entirely clear and defined. Uh, it's just kind of a lot of interpretive type stuff, and it depends on how you want to write it. There's a second popular type of Gallifreyan. It's much less popular, and it's called Doctor's Cot Gallifreyan. It looks something like this. This is something I wrote. You can see that it's very, very different. Let's compare it to the actual Gallifreyan on the doctor's cot, which looks like this. And, I mean, you can see right there that that's completely different. But it's not like the other one either because it's in a line, and this is closer to the new version of Gallifreyan that we see now. But it's really simple, which is an issue I have with it, and at the same time really confusing. The way this works is the number of lines on the outside, along with some of the symbols inside of the circle, represent a consonant sound. And then something else on the inside represents the vowel sound. You have one consonant sound and one vowel sound, or two consonant sounds and one vowel sound, or just a vowel sound. And those are the only three combinations of sounds you can have. I modified it a bit and gave it a direction when it comes to sound. So the sound that comes first is on the left, and the sound that comes second is on the right. Um, and it goes in order that way, but originally it doesn't have that, and it also just kind of has add some extra circles, it's fine, and if you want a second consonant sound, you use the center circle as the outer circle, and there's no real unified way of writing, because there's just so many random little symbols, like circles are both vowels and consonants, not just one or the other. So I, I'm not really a big fan of this either, but I like it a lot more. 
Now this, on the other hand, is something written in the new form of Gallifreyan, which I came up with. If you compare it to the original on the doctor's cot, you can see that they're a lot more similar. Now the way this works is that the number of circles and the um, thickness of the circles tells you how many vowels there are, how many consonants there are, in what order they come, and also the intonation of them. I also streamlined it so that lines are always consonant and circles are always vowels. The little floating circles, on the other hand, are punctuation. So those, you can see, are a lot simpler. And that's because they're representing something totally different from the comp more complicated circles. And they're floating, showing exactly where they are. So this one is a space, and this one is an exclamation point. Now, if you look again, you can see that there's one really simple circle in the middle of this line of circles, and that actually is simple because it's only a vowel sound. So if they're the three inner circles inside of the first two circles, uh, that means there are consonants involved, either one or two. Uh, if there aren't, then it just means that it's a vowel sound. So it's really complicated, and it's just laid out on like four different pieces of paper. But my hope is to have the time to streamline it, make it a lot simpler, and uh, make it make more sense. So that's that. I did come up with a type of Gallifreyan, and that's a thing that I did. And nobody uses it, and hopefully uh, I will actually be able to memorize all the symbols and read it someday. But yeah, that's the story of my life.